My life is mostly about turtle. <laughs> I was a turtle collector when I was young. But after I started to understand they are in trouble, all my attention was how I can conserve them. I decided to build the village de Tortue, where everything begins. When I win the Rolex Award in 1998, the village de Tortue was in the backyard of my father's farm. The award was a huge help to establish our new facility. The village of Tortu is a center for reproduction for turtle and tortoise in Senegal, particularly Sulcara tortoise, because this is a species in the brink of extinction. Release them back in the wild is the ultimate goal. Rolex was the first organization who told me I was in the right direction and I needed to keep doing what I'm doing. If you see the diversity of turtle you have in Africa and the literature available, it's just a no man's land. This is why after the village of Tokyo, I launched the African Chilean Institute to promote research and reintroduction for all African turtle species. In Africa, the pressure of population growth is intensifying poaching and destroying habitat. Enforcement is an issue. We are trying the best we can to help government agencies enforce the law. Grassroots collaboration is the key. We always request the involvement of community so they are gonna care about the animal they live next to. For example, now, all our indicators are showing the decrease of the consumption of the animals. One of my role now is to inspire other Africans to think conservation can be a career. For children, you can get them just so excited. That is turtle. And you know, this person is never gonna forget this moment and maybe someday will be in the conservation field. All my life, until my last days, I will be doing what I'm doing now. But it's not enough. I want African total conservation to survive me.